Hi and thank you so much for joining me today and in today's video I'm documenting this photo of my lovely friend Julie. Um, it's a trip that I made up to see her in Bake Up recently and we went out for lunch to celebrate my 50th. So I'm using um, Vicky Boot in Print Shop again and you can see I've already pulled out a load of the teal blue pieces from this collection. Um, again, I'm using pattern paper as my background, which is very unusual for me, but I'm trying to do that more. I'm challenging myself. And um, I'm just using the photo as the anchor at the bottom of the um, pattern paper. You can see where the, it's got the design and it sort of meets at the bottom right hand corner. So I'm using that to anchor my photo and then just building up the embellishments around it. These embellishments are from the ephemera pack, the floral pack and the papyri pack. I found this um, title that says today just in the one of the die cut packs and I love that. And then the strip underneath, I don't know whether you can read it, it says grateful for the people who make us happy. And that actually came from the um, branding strip at the top of the paper. I'm using the papers from the paper pad and on the reverse of that it had these words and it's the same as the um, reverse of the paper which has these words printed all over but I thought that was absolutely perfect for a photo of Julie because she always makes me happy. We always have a lovely time together. So you can see I'm cutting out one of the washi stickers was um, a pair of glasses and I've got two of them and I knew I wasn't going to use two. So one of them I decided to just use the circle element from um, that die cut. So I've cut around the black and then just using that on the layout. So just having a mess around. I'd had a quick play before I came onto camera. So just having a quick mess around with exactly where I want everything to go before gluing down. And you can see I've started to glue down now. I did stick the photo straight onto that bingo uh, card, which is from the Papyri pack, because I knew that I wanted that to go on there. Um, this white piece is a part of a ticket. And I was so excited when I was um, getting ready to film this video, I had to text Julie to tell her that on the other side of that piece of paper was um, a commercial and chromo lithographer, W. M. Brown uh, at 9A Fishergate in Preston. Now, when I met Julie, she actually lived in Preston. She's not from Preston. She's from a little town just um, south of Preston called Leyland. But I always think of Julie being from Preston and I just couldn't believe it when I saw that. I went to university in Preston as well, so I know the uh, address is quite well there. <laughs> so a small little bit of local knowledge there for you. But it's just so funny that in an American branded um, scrapbooking product, you find something that's so local to you and has so much meaning to you as well. Anyway, you can see I'm just gluing these flowers down um, and that vine on the right hand side that I'm just picking up now, I had terrible problems with. I don't know why. When I first put it down, I really liked it there. But then when I tried to put it down again, I think I was looking too closely and I just couldn't work out how I wanted it to go here. So I'll just leave it to one side for a bit. I do come back to it and it does get added to the layout exactly where I put it there now, but I just wasn't happy. So you can see me thrown away in anger there. So um, just continuing to glue things down. I love this blue leaf that I've got at the bottom there. We've got a few of those in the pack, so I'm happy to be using that. And that uh, noted piece, is, again, is from the Papyri pack. And it's actually got the same at the top, but without the word noted. So I've just cut that in half and I'll be able to use the blank black bit on another layout. So that piece I'm gluing down now is the one that says um, Preston, Lancashire. So really pleased to have added that. And this is a half a journaling spot from the Papyri pack again that I've used a half on a different layout. So great to get using up these bits and also to be able to use them twice. Um, if you're tucking something underneath and you think that you're going to use it again, always cut it in half because um, it's it doubles your stash really. I love these washi tape um, coffee rings, I call them. But I was silly, I should have stuck this down before I stuck the photo down. So you can see I'm having a bit of trouble tucking it underneath. <laughs> but we get there in the end. And they just, although they look terribly wrinkled when you first pull them off the backing sheet, if you're just confident in laying them down, they always go down absolutely fine. So just trying to work out how to put this um, washi circle that I cut out of that glasses set. And in the end, this is another one that I cut in half so that I can use the two halves tucked under. And it just stretches that stash a bit more. So just peeling off the backing before putting that down. So I'm sorry that I'm using Print Shop again, but there's just so much in this collection. I think you're going to see it appearing an awful lot in the 
near future while I work my way through it a little bit, but I do love it. I love the colours. I love that it's a very general collection. It's not too themed. I'm finding that more and more of the scrapbooking collections that we're getting are very themed to pets or Valentines or all the different things. So it's really lovely to come across a collection that's just generic. So this is another tag from the um, Papuri pack and at this point I think I'm going to add my journaling on there and you'll see I do add my journaling on there um, but I'm not happy with it. I decided to write on every other line and it just looks way too spaced out. It's not good so you will see me pulling that up and dealing with the torn paper underneath <laughs> shortly. But just sticking the titles and everything down before I go in with that journaling. I tend to do my journaling towards the end of a layout because I don't want to have to add anything on top of it so um, just use my tea ruler here to check that everything's straight because I'm terrible at thinking that I've stuck things straight and then when I go to take the photograph I realise that everything's really wonky <laughs> I think I'm trying not to get my head in shot too much because but obviously my camera's overhead um, and you don't need to see my <laughs> hairline so um, it's harder to see exactly if things are straight I should lift the page up probably a little bit more to check Anyway, here I am back with that vine again, and as you'll see, it goes straight on where it was before. I just trim off the very edge bits that hang over the edge of the page. So struggling to get the backing off the washi, but I manage it. And this is that other half of that um, glasses set that I cut apart. I'm just getting it neatly tucked underneath that photo mat. And as you can see, I've stuck with the blue tones and I really like doing that on a layout, just choosing one colour and going with it. I have got some green in there as well, but that works very nicely with the blues. And it all started with the blue because of the blue wall behind Julie at the um, little cafe that we were at for lunch. So just fiddling again. This should have, I shouldn't have stuck quite as far to the edge as I did on the um, mats. So just struggling to get this tucked under. Just adding a bit more glue to that tag that I had to pull up. And here's where I trim off those little bits, that leaf. And there was a tiny bit of the flower at the bottom that was just hanging ever so slightly over the edge. It might have been okay, but it's easy just to nick it off and then it's done. So now coming in and confidently gluing this down. <laughs> why oh why? And then I shall start my journaling just with a black gel pen. I just use a generic black gel pen when I do my journaling. That's my preferred writing implement when I'm writing anyway. So, so I start just writing about um, why we were there and why I've gone up to see Julie. And uh, almost straight away I realise it's not right. The spacing's too much. It's not the, uh, the thing that I've written. I'm very happy with what I'd written, but it was just the spacing. So um, just trimming off the bottom there to see if it looks any better and it actually looks worse so as soon as I turn it over I realise I've just got to do something about it so I'll pull it up rip all the backing sheet but it's not a problem I'm going to cover that um first of all I noticed it was a little tag that I'd left to one side that I thought I was going to add to the layout but I'll just go through this is my um box with all the ephemera pieces in it and straight away I find this blue notebook style piece of paper which I quite like the look of I've got the um, off cut from that tag that I did my journaling on initially, so just playing about to see if that fits on there as well. And I decide that it's going to look nice with a torn edge. So I tear the bottom of that notebook piece and then I'm just straightening, straightening up the edge of this piece because I just hand cut it with my scissors before so it's a bit wonky. And that's actually going to cover right to the very bottom of the layout in the end. I play about with putting it on the um, blue, but then I realise that the guidelines that I've got on the blue are perfect for my journaling, so I don't really want that to cover it up. So you can see it just butts right into the corner, covers up all that ripped paper. And once the journaling spot is on there as well, it's fine. You can't tell that I've done that. So just sticking it all down and then I shall journal again. <laughs> So once again with the journaling and the journaling just reads, this was such a lovely day, a trip up to Bake Up to see Julie. She took me up to Anna's for lunch to celebrate my 50th. It was so wonderful to be able to go out together again after her stint in hospital. A true friend I am so very happy to have in my life. 
And I really am. I've known Julie for over 20 years and it was through scrapbooking that we met at a crop. Like I say, over 20 years ago, um, I'd taken my shop and she'd been buying with me for a little while. And it was the first time we'd met and we just clicked straight away and we knew that we were going to be friends and it was really lovely. And there are lots of friends that I met at that crop. It was an amazing experience. So I urge you, if there are any crops in your area and you're nervous about going, I went on my own. I did take the shop, so I had that as my <laughs> as my cover, really. But um, honestly, I've got so many like-minded friends now that are still friends all these years later. So take the plunge, go to the crop and meet new like-minded people. You won't regret it. So anyway, just going through the chipboard pieces now um, and adding some embellishing. So I've got some little um, circles with hearts on, which I've added. And um, there's another one there and a little gold chipboard circle as well. I play about with this star, but it doesn't make the cut. It's not quite right. And I don't want to add things just for the sake of adding. I do feel that I need something up there because there's quite a big gap between the word today and that journaling card that I've created. So just adding, going through the sticker book now and I'm just adding a little gold heart underneath that little blue chipboard heart that I've got there. And just seeing what else. And sometimes it doesn't strike you straight away what you want to do. So just having a look to see what's there. But I do come back to that in a minute. First of all, the 6x12 sticker sheet just to see if there's anything on here. And there's just this tiny gold dot, which goes into that cluster at the bottom right hand corner and just fills that up nicely. Try the butterfly, but again, not happy with it. I don't like all the white space as well around it. And then I find this little tag that just says this, and this starts the cluster that I need up here. I think about using another, the other circle on those glasses, but I don't want to include, I've already got two bits of that. So then I remember this, circle that I saw on the sticker book and it's just a pale green with the gold around the edge and then there's a little gold splatter sticker that I've added there and now this safety pin with the flag and that just finishes it off really nicely it brings the eye down to the um, writing that I've put there the journaling and it just like I say it just finishes that cluster off rather than it being sitting on top of that journaling spot it's now dragging your eye down to see the rest of it so that works and then another um sticker sheet with exactly the same sentiment that says grateful for the people who make us happy because it just finishes off at the top of the photo there so coming in with my um date stamp 17th november 2022 and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'll leave you with some close-ups. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, it really does help me out, and I shall see you again very soon. Thanks again, bye.